Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back for another Blended episode today. And I'm really excited for this episode because this is going to be my Christmas gift to you all. Whether you like it or not, I'm excited for it nonetheless. So what we're actually going to be doing today, and I've had this idea for quite some time, and I wanted to create a Grinch portrait. Uh, <laughs> I don't have a lot of hope for this episode, but I'm excited to see where it goes. I'm going to be taking this model here, and we're going to Grinchify him and turn him into what my idea of the Grinch is. So yeah, let's, um, let's just get to it. Let's just jump right in and let's get started. Alright folks, let's first and foremost turn on our model. Um, I was actually quite lucky to find a second um, image of this same model because I don't really like the hands in this picture. I think the face that he's given is perfect Grinch vibes and that's what we're using. So I'm just going to extract him with the pencil first, just like so. And let's turn on this image here because the hands aren't in the way, there's no distraction. So we're going to first and foremost kind of remove him from the background as well so we can just get rid of that. And now the next obvious step is we just need to get this face on top of the other image and just line it up so that it looks like it, well, just makes sense. And we're going to commit to that and now I'm going to go into the liquify tool and just kind of plump up the cheeks a little bit, kind of give them some chipmunk cheeks uh, because, well, that's just kind of what the Grinch looks like. So let's just stretch this out a little bit and let's see how that compares to that. Well. Um, I may have gone a bit overboard. Let's bring this back a little bit so he's not looking like he's about to eat us all. Okay, so you know what? Let's stretch this out a little bit. And I think that's much better. Let's keep going forward. All right, so when I'm looking at this picture, you know, the first thing that jumps out to me is that little dog-like nose. So that's what I want to get started on. I've got this perfect image that we're going to just cut this nose off of this little guy here, just like so. And then we're just going to place this somewhere above, like in the bridge of his nose. And we can scale this up a little bit, just like that. And you can kind of see that we've got almost like a little muzzle action going on below that nose. So we need to create some space. I'm using this line here uh, because, well, that just kind of looks like the closest thing to that little section. So we're going to place this below. Oh my God, this looks ridiculous. All right, so let's just keep warping this in place and uh, folding it. And you know what? Let's go back into liquify here. Let's just patch this middle section up. Something like this. And... Um, we can always touch that up a little bit more with the clone stamp tool here, but we just want to get something close enough. Oh my God, that looks ridiculous. All right, so let's just blend the edges a little bit and um, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's just keep going and see how this looks. Right now I can see the mouth is a little bit of an issue, so I'm going to have to just kind of retouch that up a little bit. Let's just drop this down so we can actually see the face, blend that in together. Okay, maybe that's a bit extreme. Let's 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 bring this back up. Okay, yes, much much better. I'm liking this. Oh my god, you know what? This is actually giving me some like old school Thundercat cartoon vibes going on here. Uh, most of which you, you none of you probably have no idea what show I'm talking about. It was even a little bit before my time, but uh, that's immediately what goes to my mind looking at this guy. Okay, let's get off that tangent. Let's get back to work here. I'm going to quickly just scale this nose down a little bit and adjust his bridge of the nose so it's just a little bit wider. And um, let's blend this nose in just a little bit more as well so it just doesn't kind of look like it's just plopped on the face. So let's uh, go ahead and do just that. We're going to blend the edges here. And uh, it's time, ladies and gentlemen, to start making him green. So using our human saturation adjustment layer to find the color that we want. And then uh, next, what I'm going to do is just make a copy of this, drag that down to the face and clip it below. And let's erase some of the parts that, well, we don't really want to make green, like the eyes and uh, the lips as well. So let's touch that up and something like this. 
And let's see how that looks. <laughs> oh my god. I I I just can't, you guys. I just can't. What the heck did I even create here? You, sir, are just giving me way too much sass with those lips. Somebody's fabulous! Okay, so let's 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 bring it back a little bit here. Let's desaturate these lips and just tone it down. Let's bring this back in. Let's get rid of all that pink. That's just, that's too much for me. And uh, let's, yes. That is more Grinch-like, in my opinion. All right, well, as you can see, we have some color and lighting issues. That right side's a little bit darker on the mouth and the left side's a bit brighter. So let's just kind of correct this. Let's take out some of the darkness. And um, there's a before and after. All I'm doing is just a levels adjustment to accomplish this. Just darkening and lightening some of the areas using the layer masks. And just, you know, painting accordingly to match the lighting on the face. So, yeah. And as promised before, I want to take care of this middle line here. So just using the clone stamp tool, I want to just kind of sample some of this. And let's get rid of this little line going down the middle here. We, we don't need that. That looks, looks sloppy. But, um, yeah, this is looking pretty cool, guys. Let's keep moving forward. What I want to do now is I just want to make that area right under the nose. I want it to look like it's protruding out a little bit and have a bit more curvature. So just kind of toggling back and forth between uh, an exposure adjustment layer and just painting some uh, different tones on top. I just want to create that effect so it looks like it's just kind of a little bit more out and not so flat as it was before because I think that's a very characteristic feature of the Grinch and I wanna, I wanna showcase that. So that's what we're doing right now. And let's just paint a little bit more. The other big thing is he's got a lot of folds and, and the skins overlapping on top of each other. So right now I wanna create that outline going around the mouth here and just using a darker green tone to create these creases and folds of the skin. I'm also going to use the levels adjustment layer as well, just to kind of help darken some of those areas up. So I'm going to speed through this just a little bit here, but just because it's a lot of digital painting and not so much photo manipulation. So I'll be back with you in just a second once I've kind of uh, wrapped this little portion up. Okay, so... Hey, it's not too bad. You know, I, there's hope for this piece after all. Uh, I am going to make a quick adjustment though real fast. Ah, oh, yes. That's much better. We just needed to show just a little bit more personality with the Grinch because he's such a crazy character. So, let's move on and keep going here. So, the Grinch, as you can see, has got like these bright yellow and orangish eyes. So, that's what I want to create next. Go into our human saturation adjustment layer, put it in the colorize, trying to find that right tone and the yellow look that we want. And then once I'm happy here, I'm just gonna come back into the eyes and uh, painting this in just a little bit more like so. Uh, let's go into the, the iris itself, make those a little bit more green and more, again, just kind of more Grinch-like and we can round it out with a little bit of red and voila. Um, <laughs> uh, the, the Grinch looks like he's been uh, smoking a little, but um, let's... We're not going to talk about that. Let's keep going forward here. Uh, we need to get rid of these eyebrows. So I'm using the clone stamp tool and just making some magic, getting rid of these bad boys because we are going to manually paint some on here um, and make them look more Grinch-like. You look beautiful. Let's just quickly see the before and after. Yeah. Okay. Look at these guys. Look at those caterpillars on his eyes. That's what we want to create. So, this is going to take quite a bit of time. All right, so I'm just taking the, the brush and making it as small as possible, the brush tip here. And I'm just going to sample some different colors. And I am quickly going through this because obviously this is very time consuming. But I'm trying to create that same uh, swirling effect of those eyebrows and uh, trying to make him you know belong as like a Whoville character they're just adjusting some of the colors as necessary as well so let's start working with the left 
and we can just raise these up a little bit just like so obviously this isn't you know sped up but like i said it very time consuming and i can't speak <laughs> so let's just keep continuing with the eyebrows and make him look as fabulous as possible and now i just want to darken up the areas around the eyes give them a little bit more shaping as well and he's looking good sweet okay so let's start with the fold around his forehead just kind of like around his mouth we want to create that around his forehead as well and just loosely creating not like a template but just uh, an overall uh, general idea of how i want this to look and the shaping of it so i'm just loosely doing this um this all this is on a levels adjustment layer with it inverted with the mask inverted sorry and uh just kind of painting some of the darkness back in so as I kind of got my template that I want, just going back in a little bit more detailed and trying to create those folds. So something like this, create a little bit more shaping around his forehead as well, darkening that up and giving it some curvature. And I'm happy with this. Yeah, it's it's something. <laughs> I'm not sure what it is quite yet, but it's something. All right, he needs some hair. So we're going to use this lion and a really cool technique here that I've used. We're going to put this in the black and white. And then we're going to uh, clip that onto that photo. And then essentially we want to play with these sliders and we want to create the most amount of contrast. I want to select the main. So I'm going to use that as whites and then everything else we'll try to darken that up. So once we have that, we're going to go to a levels adjustment and clip that below. And again, just creating more contrast. And then we can paint on a new layer on top, just white and black, just to, again, whatever's white is what we want. So we're going to go to select color range and we can either click on that or you can come up to the top here go to highlights and hit OK and then you can just uh, turn off those other layers and there we have our main I know that was pretty quick so if you want to go back and slow that down you can uh, but we're gonna use this here and the first thing that we obviously need to do is make him green we want to match that color so going back to that human saturation adjustment layer finding that same tone just like this and then we can just use my hairbrush here just to touch up the edge and get rid of whatever we don't really need. So then from there, we're just gonna warp this in place, try to get this around the side of his face. And then from there, using one of my hair brushes to blend this in. If you wanna click the link above to see how I actually make this hair brush, you can, and I use it in so many of my compositions and I just love it. So feel free to check that out and you can make one for yourself. So we're gonna do the same thing with the left side. Um, just warp this in place and just add a little bit of fur and hair to that side touch up the edges because that's a little bit much and we don't need all of that and um, I find it easier to get rid of a lot of it and then come back in on the layer mask just to paint some of that back in with that custom hairbrush that I just mentioned before and from here we can even just darken up some of the edge just a little bit so it looks a little bit more realistic but I'm not gonna lie I am totally digging this beard all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give him that Santa outfit. So I'm gonna use the pen tool here and just create a section of this, just like so. I'm gonna warp this in place. Doop, 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 do something like this. And let's go back to that fur brush and just mask some of this back in so we can uh, have that showing. Cool, I made a copy of that and we're gonna put this on the left side here and what do you know, going back to warp. So let's put that in place and then we can touch that up and uh, we can start to paint a little bit of a shadow right under his uh, his mane. Something like this. We want to match the same lighting as before. So we're going to darken up this left side. Try to create that consistency with our actual model who is the Grinch. And uh, try to bring this to life and just make it look realistic. And I'm just thinking I want to add a little bit more fur. And just kind of round this out a little bit. So let's do that. Let's touch it up a little bit so it again just looks much more blended together and remove some of this darkness so we can paint on top of this section here just sampling some color and gotta do the same thing on the left and just warp it like so yeah i like it all right so let's give him the santa hat now so going back to this santa picture here just using the pen tool and quickly cutting this out and we're gonna just place this on his head like here and just warp this in place to just make it kind of look like it fits naturally on his head, which is actually a little bit challenging. All right, so let's blend this in with his hair. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And uh, we'll do the same thing on the right side. 
And then, um, yeah, let's darken this up a little bit using levels. We're gonna invert that mask and then just kind of painting some of this in to give it a little bit of dimension. And once again, trying to mimic the lighting uh, with our character. So something like this, we can even go down to the little spot here of his hat and darken that up. But here he is, ladies and gentlemen, honestly, I'm not going to lie, this turned out looking much better than I anticipated. Uh, I didn't really have much hopes for this. Anyways, the only thing that's missing is we need to add a background. So I'm going to quickly do that and we're going to wrap this thing up and call it a day. See you at the finish line. So after those final edits, here is the final, final composition of our Grinch makeover. Um, I'm actually really surprised with how it turned out. Uh, it's Is it perfect? Not even close. But you know what? I'm happy with doing this. It was a big challenge for me, and I really liked the turnout of this picture. So... With that being said, if you enjoyed this kind of video, want to see more makeovers of other characters, let me know in the comments section. I'm going to do more of these just because, honestly, I had a lot of fun creating this. So, hope to do the next one relatively soon. And uh, in the meantime, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, enjoy your time, and I'll see you shortly. Take care, everybody.